other station in the world do you know to be doing stuff like this? I'm here at Kensington High Street uh, in London, trying to find some famous hip hop locations. And I'm going to be meeting David Corio, a famous British photographer who, in 1987, was able to capture a moment in time when Biz Marquee, MC Shan, Marley Marl, and Big Daddy Kane came here for the first time. All right, give us some names. Who's here? Let's introduce him. We have uh, Marley. He's getting ready to put the uh, mixing gloves on. MC Shan, in effect, Big Daddy Kane, also the Inhuman Orchestra, Biz Marquee. We're going to kind of talk about how he felt when he took those pictures and try to locate exactly where he was standing and where these artists were standing. Hey Andy, nice how to you meet doing? you. Andy Katz. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you in person. Welcome to London. Thanks for, yeah, <laughs> thanks for meeting me here. This oh, no great. problem at all. I'm so excited that you're willing to share what you remember <laughs> about, about this time. Well, I had about half an hour to shoot uh, Bismarcky, Big Daddy Kane, MC Shan, and Marley Marl, and they wanted them all shot separately. So the record company was just here in an office. So oh, really? So there was a, someone doing interviews. So I was sort of basically given one of them, said, you know, come outside, quick shoot, go back in, grab another one. It was literally out the door. Let's do pictures here. All right, you're done, next. So I found this spot from 3,000 miles away. <laughs> well on done. Google Maps, <laughs> and I got one little bit of information about it being near uh, Warner Warner Music. I said, well, they, if they were on foot, they couldn't have gone too far from the offices. And I just drove around on Google Maps well done. On, <laughs> on Street View until I, okay. found, uh, I found this little alley. And really, it was that white building with the sort of archway and those windows was the tip off for me. That's right. I realized, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, that's where his marquee is with the uh, with the car. Right. When, yeah. With his chain and he's got the jacket open. It's amazing. So I, I I realized pretty quickly that's all one one photo shoot. And then when I realized if you swing around and you come over <laughs> here, that that's Marley Marl and and MC Shan was here. Yeah. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is. What I do is uh, I try to kind of follow in your footsteps. So right. to be with the photographer for one of these little missions, we call them, is, is, is really uh, exciting for me. Because usually right. I'm just guessing. Right, or, sure. I'll, or I'll see a brick or I'll see a, a corner or, or an architectural element and realize, okay, I'm in the right spot. Yeah. But what, what do you remember about, you said that they all came out one at a time. Biz, he was the first one I shot. So we started up there. He was just immediately sticking his tongue out, pulling his rope chains from side to side and uh, just hamming for the camera. For me, it was it's one of those sort of ideal subjects. This isn't a sort of typical hip hop neighborhood by any means. I mean, this is High Street Kensington. So, so do you remember where you were standing? I mean, it's been a I while, I would have right? been, I was, well, it was a wide angle lens. The bollards must be slightly different. So it must have been pretty much here. I must have been standing here. It was probably the longest shoot, it was probably about seven or eight minutes, something like that. So then I took him back up the stairs and then Big Daddy Kane was the next one. So it's amazing. That's he so cool. was very different. And that was over here by the yeah, bricks. So Do you want to walk Kane, that way? Yeah, let's go. Um, he was camera ready, wasn't he? He was camera ready, but he, you know, he didn't really want to do it. Oh, so really? It was, That's I, interesting. I think I probably took about 
12 pictures of him, something like that. Sometimes you know, you know, you've got the shot and it's no use sort of milking it. It's, uh, yeah, oh, here we go, we're on the chapel music, look. So, oh, so oh, it's yeah, still it. The, that's the door, yeah. So it's still it. So it is upstairs, huh. yeah. I guess it's still in that building. So as you can see, I didn't go too far. <laughs> I took the shot, so you've got um, this here. So it's, it's probably standing here. Setting it off, letting it off, beginning, drop till the end it. You never been it. Yeah. And where were you, over here? So he's standing here and you're... He's standing there and I'm here. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. You can do the pose. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's he doing? And then he, then he walked him up and then... Then I walked him up and I, then I got MC Shan. But you said you went down. So we way. went down to here. Your camera kit is pretty straightforward, right? Totally minimal. I mean, I was using, I think, probably a Nikon FM2 and maybe one or two wide-angle lenses. It makes the artist feel more relaxed. You know, drawing more attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can just get on and sort of do the, do the shoot. So yeah, so that was you're pretty much oh, here yeah. now. I see. That's I the see line this. of those buildings. Right there, yeah. Yeah. So again I'm low down just to get that sort of the shape of the buildings, create a bit of uh, you know, a composition. I'd sort of try and use the backgrounds. That's a really exactly beautiful here. building. Yeah, there's all massive mansion blocks around here. With all of these shoots, there weren't any art directors or hair and makeup or so anyone. Just do it's just me do. and them. Right. So it's, and I'm not ever given a brief. So, you know, I get to choose what what I'm shooting basically. <laughs> And then this one is yeah. the Marley Mar. That was that way, right? Yeah, so that is... Here's the uh, fire hydrant sign here. So that's just on the, oh, yeah. on the edge there here. So <laughs> there's your marker. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so That's the kind of stuff I love and I look for. But then, uh, so then, yeah, so I shot Marley Mile again, probably half a rolled film at the most, something like that, maybe 20 shots. So Shan, I photographed, I mean, all of, just around this spot, really. So again, it was, you It know, seems to me that a lot of your photos are black and white. Is that something that you prefer or? Then it was economically, really, because I was shooting, they were only going to be reproduced in black and white for newspapers. Oh, OK. And they need the pictures the next day, so I'd sort of go home, develop the film, print them, and you know, to drop them off to the newspaper the it's next day. All before day. digital, I guess. Yeah, all before, <laughs> di yeah, pre JPEGs yeah. and the joys of that. Does it bring back any any feelings for you at all? It always sort of surprises me now the sort of speed of how quickly, uh, you know, you'd have to work. I think I'll probably use three, maybe three rolls of film for the four of them. Okay. So uh, keep it to a minimum and, you know, bang it out quick. <laughs> it seems a much more sort of innocent time in a way. 